The road of redemption can be tough. God damn, that's beautiful. However, the upcoming Green Lantern movie, on occasion called Space Lethal Weapon, looks promising and might be just the thing the franchise needs right now. And with a director to sit in the chair, the only thing needed right now to start things off, we are one step away from a cosmic story about the most famous alien force in the entirety of the comics. Recap In 2011, we saw Ryan Reynolds taking the part in the Green Lantern movie, which saw Hal Jordan inheriting the Emerald Ring of Willpower from Abin Sur, a ring he used to fight telepathic Hector Hammond in the monstrous Parallax. The movie itself fared well with the fans. However, not so much at the critics, as it was said to be a bad interpretation in a commercial dud, which resulted in the sequel being scrapped altogether. That turned out to be a good thing for Reynolds, as he jumped to Marvel, where today he has a wonderful career portraying the role of Deadpool. The Lord works in mysterious ways, don't I? A good day. Who is finally joining the MCU, but not so good for the franchise, as the planned sequel never saw the light, and the disappointment of fans was just another reason of doubt the DC Universe suffered from. However, around 10 years later, it seems like DC and Warner Bros. have yet to give up on the character and the entire franchise while we are at that too, with a new movie already in development amongst other DC movies that are supposed to come in the near future. The Green Lantern we know will be making his return to the big screen, However, he will not be alone. This reboot, and yes, it will be a reboot of the franchise, not a sequel to 2011's Green Lantern movie called Green Lantern Corps, which by the title itself suggests that we are going to get a whole different look for the character, with the movie said to focus on Hal Jordan as well as Jon Stewart and a bunch of aliens who are all part of the most famous alien police force in all of comics. There are no other details regarding the plot, confirmed ones at least. Knowing that John's career kicked off way back in 2005 as a writer of the comics, which also becomes some of the most prestigious works to this day, we should expect the reboot to feature characters and concepts from his time on the character, and his stories coming straight to the big screen. There is also a Green Lantern series currently in the works, which will release exclusively for the HBO Max streaming platform. But we are not going to delve into that series, and it has been said that there will be no connection between the series and the movie we are expecting to release on the big screen whatsoever. Release Date In 2014, almost a year and a half after the Man of Steel movie release, was the time we got the DCEU movie release schedule for the future, with all of the movies we have seen so far as part of the DCU in there. A list that also consisted the Green Lantern Corps movie, which back then was slated to release on June 19th, 2020, which later got pushed back to July 24th, 2020, which also never came to pass. And while the other projects from DC have their release date set, including the likes of Black Adam and The Flash, there is still no official or any clue as to when the Green Lantern Corps movie might release. So with that in mind, and no footage of sorts anywhere to be filmed, Unfortunately, we think that it will be a while before the movie gets released. We are probably looking at two to three years of time before we even see a trailer to start with. Cast and Crew Jeff Johns is the man behind the scenes who will be writing the script for the reboot, and he seems to be the man for the job, with him already spending nearly a decade of his life writing Green Lantern stories, including seminal moments like bringing Hal Jordan back to life, introducing the Sinetro Corp War, the emotional spectrum, Blackest Night, the list goes on. So when you look at it, Johns is the most qualified man for any Green Lantern property out there. He was also the producer of the 2011's Green Lantern movie, with this time around having more creative control over the writing side of things. Thus, the chances of this project being better are already improved. Oh, and we almost forgot, he will also be the producer of the movie now that he is in the role of head of Mad Ghost Productions. And then the director problem for the movie kicked in. In 2017, Rupert Wyatt from That Hashtag Show was claimed to be part of the project. However, he supposedly walked away from the project, with next in line considered for the project to be David Goyer. But no additional detail has been shared beyond that. Considering that Warner Bros. is mostly after high-profile directors with their own distinctive styles, Wyatt would seem to be just what they are looking for. But now with J.J. Abrams in the fold, a director with two proven space opera franchises under his belt, 
the two Star Wars movies, The Force Awakens and The Rise of the Skywalker, it seems like Warner Bros. found their guy. But even to this day, it has not yet been confirmed that he will be helming the project. As for the cast, at one point the movie was supposedly going to be somewhat of a Jon Stewart's origin story, with the movie described as a lethal weapon in space. Sadly, there will be no more Ryan Reynolds in the upcoming reboot, which is understandable, knowing that he is so deep in the Marvel Universe. The rival company of DC, however, recent rumors suggest that there have been plenty of candidates to portray the role of Hal Jordan, and Tom Cruise, Bradley Cooper, Joel McHale, Army Hammer, and Jake Gyllenhaal to name a few. On the other hand, reports say that Tyrese Gibson has been campaigning a lot recently for the role of Jon Stewart. But so far, nothing has come of it. No matter what the case may be, it is unlikely that we will be hearing any casting news anytime soon until a more concrete script is written and the director's issues are worked out. Plot As we said before, the upcoming movie will be a reboot and not a continuation of the first Green Lantern movie. It will be part of the DC Extended Universe, which doesn't mean that Hal or John will be teaming up with the likes of Flash or Wonder Woman. Instead, the movie might present itself like the Shazam movie, existing in the same universe, with some references thrown to the other corners of the universe. The focus of the movie will be thrown at the buddy cop narrative, with Hal and John starring as the main characters of the movie, and as the first human to make it to the Green Lantern Corps, the alien police force. It is reasonable why the franchise is bringing Hal back, and John, the third human member of the Force, might just be what the story of the franchise needs right, as he has never been outside of the comics, and the first impression of the characters is probably the most important thing out there. The reboot will also have a change of setting when compared to the first movie, which was Reynolds' Hal Jordan grounded to Earth for the majority of the time, and brought to space for just a while. This time around, we will get a more cosmic story with the movie primarily set in space, which would make the movie stand out from the other projects taking part in the DCEU. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, what are your thoughts on the character in his first big screen appearance as part of a live action adaptation? And what are your expectations from the upcoming movie? Now that we have a little bit more information about it, which are the elements the franchise needs to address and which to admit? And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.